Hi, I'm Ron Pars from Parpools.com, and today we're going to take a look at the fourth key of good spa and hot tub water care, and that is water testing. Now, just because the water is, is crystal clear and it looks nice, don't assume that the water is balanced. Testing the, the spa water on a regular basis is important. And mainly you want to test for several, several important factors. The first is the sanitizer level. You want to test for chlorine or bromine. If you're using a beguinide product such as soft soak or Spa or leisure time free, you want to test for those sanitizer levels. If you're using pristine blue, you want to test for the pristine blue level. Sanitizer level is important because that is what is going to take care of bacteria growth and keep, keep you and your spa healthy. You don't want to have too much, you don't want to have too little, you want to have it just right, and so therefore testing is important. The next thing we want to test for is pH. Now pH, what that tests for is how acidic or how basic the water is. When the pH is in, is in the proper range of 7.4 to 7.6, there is good efficient sanitizer use. Not only that, but you will also give a longer life to, to the spa and its equipment, and you'll also feel a whole lot more comfortable using the spa. I would invite you to take a look at our, at our uh, video about spa water balance to learn a little bit more about those couple things. The next item we want to test for is total alkalinity. Total alkalinity is kind of like the ham that's not in the hamburger. Total alkalinity is a buffer for the pH. And when the total alkalinity is correct, the pH doesn't move up and down easily, and it keeps it set. So total alkalinity is a buffer. In your spa, you want to maintain a good total alkalinity level of about 90 to 140 part per million. The fourth thing we want to test for is water hardness. And that's a measure of how hard the water is. We don't want the water too soft because that leads to corrosion of the spa and its, and its equipment. But and we, by the same token, we don't want it too hard. Too hard can lead to scaling. Other things that, that, are, going to, that are going to be affected by the water hardness would be foaming. If you have a really foamy spa and you just change the water, it's because the water is really soft and you're just creating a lot of foam, and you can eliminate that. Next question is, how do, how do I test? Testing is, is really pretty simple. There are test strips. There are test kits. Uh, I personally prefer a test kit. I like to be able to have a... I, I find them a little bit easier to use than a test strip some, sometimes, but that is a personal uh, advantage. There are all kinds of test strips. There are even automatic and digital test kits available. And you should test about one to two times each week. I'm going to give you two, two additional tips when it comes to water testing. The first tip is, when you're testing, make sure that the spa jets are turned off and have been off for at least three to four hours. People would ask, why, why do that? Don't you want to get a good churning of the water and have everything mixed up? Well, the problem when the, when the jets are turned on high or when you have the air bubbles on, you're releasing a lot of carbon dioxide into the water. When you release all that carbon dioxide into the water, that drives the pH up high. So, in other words, you're not getting a true test of what the pH is. You're not getting a true sample. So make sure that the jets are turned off and, are, and have been off for several hours. The second issue is, or the second tip, is when you have too high of a bromine level. If you're using bromine in, in your spa, you want to maintain your bromine under f about 4.5 part per million. When it gets over that, that, that higher bromine level, that can also cause a false high pH. And you get something that, that is called, a, called bromphenol blue. And all it is is the high amount of bromine combining with uh, the phenol red that is either in the, in the, in the testing titrant or even in the uh, uh, test strips 
and that will give you a false high pH. So if you're constantly struggling, struggling trying to bring the pH down, check those couple things. Make sure that the jets have been turned off, and if you do have a high, high bromine level, you're going to have to dilute the sample down to get a correct reading. For more information about spa and hot tub care, visit our website at parpools.com forward slash six spa keys. You can also email me with any of your questions at techhelp at parpools.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy your spa. Thanks for watching.